In this video, we will create a list of category. So we will start by going inside the LIB folder and we'll create a new file. This new file will be called categories.dart. And in this file, we will start by uh, adding the import of the material.dart. Then we will create the stateful widget, so the stateful W, this one. And we will call the name of the class categories. We can remove the key of this class and we will remove the container as well because we will create something else. In the build, we will return the sliver to box adapter. We will put the semicolon and the sliver to box adapter will have an argument child. That is container. So the container, we can add an argument inside and this argument will be the height. We will put an height of 100 and then the child, it will be a list view dot builder, just like that. This will give us the item builder And I would just move this uh, to see better the code. Perfect. And the item builder, if we go over item builder, we will see that this want a build context and an int. So we will give it what you want. We will put the parent, the bracket and say context and int index. So the first one is the build context and the second one is the int. Then we will return something, but because we only want to return one thing, we can remove the bracket and just make an arrow. So an arrow to the right, like that. And then we will return the stack widget. So we will stack one thing over the other. Inside the stack widget, we will uh, use the argument children and the first one inside the list will be a column. In the column, we will add the children. So as you can see, we have a little error with the bracket. I will put, put it back. So in the argument children, we have a list. The error is still here and this is because we need a uh, the square bracket as well. And we need another bracket. Perfect. So now we will put the comma and I will format document. Inside the column, we have the children and in the children, we will add the first container, the widget container and the argument height inside the container will be 90. Then the width will be 90 as well. And then we will need to put the child of this container. The child of this container will be a card. So as you can see, we have put a card and inside we have an argument child of the card. The argument will be the icon widget and we, we will use the icons.fastfood. Here we go. So we have built a container that have a card inside and in this card, as you can see on the image, we have an icon that display the fast food icon. So I will remove this and then uh, the last thing we'll need to do is add this categories class inside our main. So if we go on the main and on the top, we will see that we can import the categories. And this is what we will do. 
we import categories.dart. So I just need to say dot dart. Good. After, we will scroll down a little until we find the place where we have the header. And under the header, we will add categories. So the class that we have just created. We put a comma. And then, as you can see, we are not seeing the categories on the screen. We will need to say how many item we have inside this list builder. And we use the item count for that. For the item count, we will create a variable right under the build. And we will call this variable items equal 10. So we will have 10 items inside this categories list. So we use the int because it is an int. And we put items for the value of item counts. As you can see, we have something, but this is vertical. And we will need to put this list horizontal. To do so, we can go inside the listView.builder. And in this listView.builder, we can add something, the scroll direction. And the scroll direction will take, uh, not a scroll direction, but it will take uh, axis.horizontal. And now if, if we come back into the application, we have everything. Next step will be to put a little text under the icon, put the icon more rounded, and then put a color on each item that we select. So for starting, we will put a little spacing between the searching bar and the list of item. To do so, we will add a margin and this margin will be the edge insect dot only. And we will select the only of the top. So the argument top and we use uh, by example 10. Here we go. So we have put 10 and this is uh, not updating. So what I will do, I will just restart the application to see if this work. So we perform a auto restart and then this should go down a little bit. Perfect. Just like that. A little bit more spacing on the left and on each item. To do so, we will use a, a certain logic. This logic will be uh, if it is the first item, then we put the uh, spacing on the left. And for any uh, other item, we will put the spacing on the right. Let's look at it. So in the container that have the, the height and the width of 90, we will put a margin argument with the edge and sec dot only. And the left will be if the index is the first one. So equal equal zero. If it is the case, then put the value 20 for the edge. Otherwise, put zero. So as you can see, we have only on the left the first item. Then we will use as well the argument right. And this one we will put 20. That's mean every item will have on the right a spacing. So now we have for each item the same spacing. This is why we use this logic. Okay, then for the icon inside the card, we will need to use a color because right now the color is complete black and what we will change is we, we will use the black color for sure, but we will say dot with opacity. So by using with opacity, it will be more gray the icon. So 0 0.7, it will be a gray uh, black like that. This is way better. Okay, right now we have this and the card. So this icon, we can put some elevation of three by example. So I will put three on the elevation as you can see right here. And if we go back, we will see a little difference right there. So the card is a little bit elevated and it's look way much better. Then, we will add a margin as well inside this card. 
and the margin will be uh, the, the argument margin will be the edge insect dot all and we will put 10 so this will shrink a little bit the items and that is way better perfect after that we will need to add a shape argument uh, so not uh, shadow shape two point and we'll say rounded rectangle border here we go so the rounded rectangle border will have an argument inside called the border radius. And as you can see, we are missing some uh, a bracket and we'll put them back. So the border radius have a border radius that's circular at of 25. And there I will, uh, so 25, so that's perfect. And I will just need to put back my bracket at the end. Here we go. So now if we format document, we will see some rounded rectangle border on the item if we go in the app. As you can see, it is way more nice. Okay, next step. We will need to put the text under the uh, icon. So in the stack, after the column, we will use the widget positioned. So we will position this text right under the item. So position it will use the argument child that have a container widget. And in this container widget, we have a margin. And this margin will be uh, edge insect dot only. And it will be left of 20 for the first item. So it is the same logic as this one. So we will copy this one and we will paste it there as well because it is the same logic. I will put the comma right here and I will format document. Okay, next step. We will need uh, some child inside this container for sure. But first we will add the width of this container that will be 90. And for the child, the child argument, what we will put will be a row. And why a row? Because we will need to put the text inside this row and the text will be a shrink in the middle with two spacer on the top and on the bottom of the text. So we write the text widget Inside, we will write burger. And then if we go back, we can see that this is not aligned with the icon. To align it, as I, as I said earlier, we will put the spacer. So this will uh, make sure that the text burger will be in the middle of, of each items. So the spacer will push the text in the middle automatically. Then I will add the other spacer, put the bracket, and then the comma. Okay, now we can go see the application to see what happened. This burger is now in the middle. And the last thing we will need to do will be to put the positioned, the button argument to zero. And this will put the text on the bottom. So I will come back. Bottom, it's at zero. I restart the application. And then we should see burger going down. There we go. So this is good. Now, last thing we will need to do is when we select an item, we would like to see it uh, on, on at black, by example, on the image on the left bottom. Okay, so how are we going to do that? First, we will create a new variable, this one called the current selected item. This uh, variable is an int and will start at zero. It's important that this item is, uh, that this variable is before the build, really important. So where I put it. So the card, what we will do, we will refactor with, with wrap with a widget if you don't have refactor, you can control dot on your keyboard. 
And the widget will be the gesture detector. This gesture detector will have an untap. And this untap will have a empty function. The empty function inside, we will put the set state function. And in the set state, so that means that will refresh the application when it's done, we will put that the current selected item is equal to the index. So not the item, but the index. Perfect. So every time we click on a card, so an item, this will refresh the application and we'll put the selected item as the index. That's good. But if we click, we will not see no we will see nothing because we have not tell Flutter to change things when this happened. We will need to change the color of the fast food icon. So for the color, if the index is equal to the selected, uh, to the current, so I will say instead equal equal. So I'll remove and we'll say index is equal equal to the current selected item. So if we use the current selected item is equal to the index, is the same thing. Then we will put uh, another color. And if it's not the case, we will still have the color that black with opacity. So if the selected item uh, if it is the selected item, then we put colors dot white. So the fast food color will be white. I will format document. If we go back in the app, we can see that when we select something, the icon is going white. But now we will need to put the card color as well uh, on the on the color. So we will add a color on this on this card. And the color argument will take inside the, if the index is equal to the current selected item. So if the current selected item is equal to the index, it's the same thing. Then we will put a color. And if, it is, and if it's not the case, we'll put another one. So if the item is selected, then we will put the colors dot black with opacity 0 dot seven. Here we go. But if the item is not selected, then we will put the colors dot white. Let's see what happened now. When we click on the item, this is going black with white icon color. So that's it for this video. And on the next one, we will work on more thing for this hamburger app. So see you on the next one. Bye.